I wasn't one of the kids who was born uh, with the desire to be a neurosurgeon. It, it's just something that kind of came to me later. I was exposed to it and fell in love with it. Um, I like the, the delicacy that it requires, the attention to detail, um, and the ability to have a really profound impact on patients' lives. One thing I, I frequently tell my patients the first time I meet them is that they are the captain of their own ship. So my job is to explain to them in a way that they can understand what their problem is, what's going on, uh, what's causing their pain, or what's causing their issue. Frequently when I see patients for the first time, we don't even talk about surgery. We just talk about, again, what's going on, what can be done to manage this, what type of non-operative things um, have they tried, what type of things do they need to try, and, and what's their best, best option. Um, as, as everybody knows, no surgery is better than surgery. If you can avoid it, if you can get better without it, that's absolutely the way you want to go. That's the way that I want you to go. So my job really is to lay all of that out, their surgical options, their non-surgical options, uh, what their expectations should be long term with each one and help them to be able to make that decision. So many of my patients have been in debilitating pain for so long that when you can help to alleviate that and restore their normal function, it's, it's just an incredible feeling.